Hey there, it's Remco and Chantal from Hotel Chimp. In today's short video, we'll share some learnings with you based on our data around capturing email addresses from website visitors. Hi Remco, thank you for having me today. So in April, it had only been a few weeks since demand had started to drive for hotels across the globe. At that point, due to high uncertainty and travel restrictions, there's not much the hotels could do besides provide refunds, reschedule bookings and issue vouchers. On the one hand, travelers were canceling immediate plans, but at the same time, they were still researching, learning, and exploring about the future. It was actually quite surprising to see that there was a large amount of traffic landing on hotel websites, despite the low conversions and travelers not making any concrete plans. Ultimately, our data showed that there was a big opportunity to engage with visitors and potentially collect email addresses of those who were interested. Hotels we work with told us that this was useful as it allowed them to retarget visitors when restrictions started to lift. Yeah, exactly. And then fast forward from the beginning of April to now, 10 weeks later, we analyzed the results from those campaigns and we took a closer look at how one of our clients managed to collect 20 times more email addresses compared to a similar hotel in the same category. So you might be wondering, what did our customers actually do? So we compared two hotels, very similar, that are located in a Dutch countryside. One hotel was using a standard message and the other combined the email capture message with a 10% promo code. The code was sent out via email, which could later be applied to the booking engine. The hotel that was using the offer collected 20 times more emails per message displayed than the hotel without an offer. Over 80% of all bookings that were made by visitors who saw the email capture message were made by, by the visitors who had signed up. Yeah, and this indicates that an offer can actually have a very big impact on engagement. So now you're probably wondering, okay, nice, but what should I use for the voucher or what can I offer uh, to my guests? Well, at the moment, it is a lot easier to provide benefits uh, such as a free late checkout, a free early check-in, or a room upgrade. I mean, you know that the occupancy rate is low anyway. Welcome drinks are also quite a low percentage spread over the cost of the booking. One thing to keep in mind though is think about creating offers that fit with what your hotel is already capable of offering, as there is of course an operational aspect involved as well. So if you want to enhance the success of a voucher, you can just mention the face value, for example. Two free cocktails worth 20 euros. While the actual cost of the hotel of two cocktails is very lower comp compared to the 20 euros that the visitor is actually seeing. And that makes it a much more attractive freebie. So notice in this example that the perceived value of the extras is mentioned and a sense of scarcity is created by limiting the supply of vouchers. Yeah, thanks Chantal. And a last one, but a very important one is the booking.com genius program for hotels that are already offering um, a 10% discount to members through booking.com's loyalty program. It would cost at least 25% in commission to sell a room through that channel. So in order to stay competitive, hotels should always match the 10% offer on their own website. And this can be done easily as an email voucher. Great point there, Remco. Now, hoteliers that we speak with are saying that the biggest challenge for them when they're actually creating vouchers is the misalignment and confusion with the terms. What we see is that hoteliers need to ensure that all the terms and conditions are clearly stated for the visitor and the internal teams are aligned. To prevent confusion, Hotel Champ has designed GDPR compliant email templates for sending promo codes or vouchers to your website visitors inbox. Yeah, these emails can be easily customized with any important terms and conditions that are relevant to your offer. So for example, you can require your guests to confirm the late checkout or room upgrade, and this will help operations prepare. The last thing that you want is non-guests using these vouchers. So you can prevent that from using vouchers by asking guests to show the voucher on their mobile during check-in. You can then provide the guests with a physical token that can be used in a hotel. And another option is to ask guests to show the voucher up on checkout to settle the purchases made in a hotel. Sounds pretty easy, Remco. So 
if you want to increase your email capture or prepare an offer, just get in touch with our team. And for those who are interested in learning more best practices, we offer free one-on-one -on -one sessions. In these sessions, we learn a little bit more about your business and we can share with you how to get the most out of your website in about 30 minutes. Feel free to schedule a one-on-one -on -one directly in our calendars that are included in the article. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Chantal, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing knowledge. And um, see you again. Thank you, Remco. Have a great day.